So this is uh, Thera Injun from University of South Florida. I'm very glad to share our story about fighting coronavirus with corona discharge. So when you hear about corona discharge, it's not uh, as terrifying as a coronavirus. It is actually a very useful tool which we can use to provide a safe and convenient and affordable technology uh, a tool for everyone to get safe masks and safe surfaces. Um, so uh, I believe every one of us is still have uh, still has the very fresh and the terrible memory of the severe mask and the disinfectants uh, shortage. So this project was uh, initiated at the beginning of this pandemic to overcome this challenge. Um, even uh, with the time going on, we are very happy to see that the shortage has been released significantly. However, when we monitoring the situation and we interviewed with many hospitals and uh, 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 civilians and uh, self-practice self um, clinics, we find out that almost like one third of them are still reusing their masks and they are still concerned about the safety of reusing them. And it's true that their, uh, their concerns are correct because based on some research data, we can still see uh, a lot of filtration efficiency drop after uh, certain kinds of uh, disinfectant, disinfection treatment. So, but if we look at the microstructure of those masks, we don't, we cannot find specific uh, deterioration. The reason for the filtration efficiency drop is actually mostly caused by the loss of the static charges in the masks, which, uh, which are injected to them during their manufacturing technology uh, process. And the difference between uh, uh, between a mask with static charges and without static charges for a 95 mask, it can be as much as 37% versus the 95% which it should has. So here comes our solution is that we are using Corona discharge to disinfect and also recharge our masks. So that means after the Corona discharge treatment, you can not only uh, kill the bacteria or the virus. You can also restore the static charge it had right after, which is similar as the manufact after, right after the manufacturing process. So with this way, we expect to see the microstructure no change, but the uh, stat stat static charges can be restored and the uh, viruses has been killed. So this is some preliminary data we uh, got. So be, uh, for the convenience of experiments, we used E. coli as the uh, most, uh, the most uh, uh, mostly used uh, bacteria to test our disinfection efficiency. Up to now, we can reach a log reduction of six for E. coli, which means it, just, it is six nines uh, in the percentage. It is 1,000 times better than the common disinfection technology we are using in our daily life. And also the log reduction on non-conductive non -conductive surface, which is the most challenging kind of material which we can do disinfection with corona discharge. Now we can reach a uh, log reduction of three. And uh, we believe we, if we improve our technology further, it can reach much higher log reduction in the future. And also uh, we tested our effectiveness against the spores, which are the most tolerant, um, uh, uh, like a micro, uh, pro, a micro um, uh, bacteria, we can see it's a bacteria to disinfect. And uh, so the log reduction now it's reached three but in the future, we, we believe it can be further improved as well. So in terms of recharging, we discovered that even after a treatment of one minute or even less than that, we can reach a very, a very stable charging effect. And this stable charge can stay for uh, days and even several weeks. And we also sent out our N95 masks for filtration efficiency test at Nelson lab after 15 times of our disinfection treatment, we still can see a filtration uh, uh, efficiency of about 95%, which makes 
uh, as very exciting to see that because after uh, that means our treatment can allow masks to be used for up to 10 times at least. Uh, we also try are uh, working very hard to improve the broader impact of our technology. For instance, we participate in uh, multiple times of uh, uh, social media interviews, and also uh, we made a series of uh, uh, videos to teach the public uh, how to wear masks correctly and how to uh, reuse masks. And also we submitted a NSF STTR proposal collaborating with a local medical device designing company uh, trying to commercialize our technology by designing at least the two kinds of uh, devices. One kind of them is to allow us to put our masks in and after several minutes of treatment, we can take out the mask and reuse them safely. And the other one is a scanning uh, device which we can use that to scan the surfaces we, uh, and we have contact during our daily lives and reduce the amount of use of disinfectants. But just with this contactless and the scanning technology, we can disinfect our surfaces. And we are trying to reduce the cost of those devices as well. So our target is to make it as less than $50 for the public. So we are still on the way for that, of course. So um, that's about it, our research. And we are actually very glad this lightning talk has already connected me with Deborah and we're thinking about further collaborations. So I look forward to more collaborations in the future. Thank you. Thank you.